What's up everybody? Uh, it's a chilly day in New York City today, um, but today we're going to be taking you through um, cleaning some shells with some muriatic acid. Uh, muriatic acid is a great way to get rid of some of that uh, salt and grime uh, on the surface of your shells. And so uh, I'm going to show you some of the tools I'm going to use and we'll actually take a look at some of the shells uh, before and after cleanup. So I'm excited to see how they're going to turn out. Hope you are too, but first let's cut to that intro. So, for shells today, uh, we're going to be doing, uh, I got a nice helmet shell here, I got some whelks, uh, I have some tulips, a nice moon snail, a trumpet, a couple bittersweets, some scallops up there, some bay scallops, and a deep sea scallop. Uh, I'm going to do some West Indian fighting conchs, some Florida fighting conchs, some crown conches, uh, uh, King's crown and a uh, nice little Caribbean crown there. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some juvenile queen conchs, a nice little really uh, kind of dark <laughs> apple murex. Excited to see how that one comes out. I uh, got a couple cones. Uh, let's see, the leaves are blowing across here. Not a leaf, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and at the bottom here, I have a West Indian uh, turban shell. Got a reticulated cowrie helmet and another uh, horse conch here. So, collectively, uh, that's the group of shells that I'm going to be putting through this process today. Uh, most of them do have some of that um, salt uh, and uh, calcium composite on there from just kind of being uh, sat on the beach for quite a long time when they were found. Uh, so I'm excited to see how it goes. So now I'll show you uh, a little bit of what I'm going to be using to, to do this today. Alright, so uh, I do have um, two buckets here. Um, this is going to be my, uh, right here on the bottom is going to be the bucket with the muriatic acid in it. This will be uh, three parts water, one part muriatic acid. Here's the muriatic acid. You can pick it up at any home goods store, any tool store. I think this was like nine dollars at Home Depot. Um, I do have some gloves because we're going to be working with uh, muriatic acid and then I have uh, tongs to uh, pull the shells, drop them in and out and then I'm going to be, once I dip them into the muriatic acid here uh, for about four or five seconds, I'll then put them in the uh, total uh, water solution up here to kind of clean everything up and then I'll be placing them back out on the towel here So uh, we'll be able to see what that looks like through the process So let's do it So this is the one I'm gonna do first So that's pretty salt gunked here. Let's see what happens, all right? So get her up. I'm gonna dip her in for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now, all right. So, you can see here, she has cleaned up pretty nicely. Look at that. So that took off a lot of that, uh, a lot of that gunk. That was caked on there pretty well. Let me try leaving her in there for, for a couple more seconds and see what happens. So yeah, all around looks pretty gosh darn good. So she's done. That's nice. So that cleaned up pretty well. Um, let's try the Caribbean crown here. So she does have some salt on it. Uh, I got this in Jamaica. Let's see what happens. 
I'm not gonna do this one for too long because it's not that bad. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Sorry for all the noise. So as you can see, that cleaned up pretty gosh darn well. Let's just try the beastie helmet. So this is a big helmet here. Uh, very, very loaded with calcium. I don't even know if it's gonna fit in the tub, but we will try. All right, so let's try the rest of this helmet here, see what happens. Oh, we're gonna have to spin it around because... Uh, so this is... Okay. So let's be careful here. Take her out, put it in there, in the water which overflowed. <laughs> Maybe that helmet wasn't the best one to do, but it does look like it's cleaned up pretty well. All right, so I got the towel very wet, but uh, let's see. Okay, I do have gloves on, so as you can see, no worries. Um, so, kind of. I mean, you can see the, uh, the the lip of the helmet came out pretty nice. Um, the top, so this is, it came out pretty well. Not gonna lie. This guy was sitting probably for a very, very long time in the rocks when I got it. So, um, that's probably why it's not the best. But still pretty good, comparatively, to what it was before. I'm excited to try this one. Uh, this is a lightning whelk uh, here, and uh, it's a beautiful whelk, uh, and, but it does have a little bit of that calcium on it, so I'm excited to see uh, what happens with this bad boy. So let's put him in. My tongs are pretty cheap. Make sure to get yourself a nice pair of tongs before you do that. So let's drop him in there. Get the acid all around. Okay. Okay. Clean it off. Wow, this guy came out very, very nice. Well, guys, would you look at that? That came out pretty well here. That's <laughs> before and after. I mean, that's gorgeous. The lightning well cleaned up very, very nicely. That's beautiful. Wow. Let's try a uh, king's crown, see what happens. try this good old Triton's trumpet. Uh, it is broken. Uh, I collected this in Jamaica last year. You can see there's a lot of buildup on it and still some beach sand inside. Even though it is broken, I do want to see how it cleans up because it does have a beautiful color there. All right, so three, four, five. Get it all out there. Clean it. And 
and yeah. Oops, all that stuff still in there. Uh, that one also came out very, very well. Uh, so, let me see. So this guy is beautiful orange. Um, so that did come out pretty well. Kinda wish he was whole, that would've been a nice, nice one if it was whole, huh? <laughs> but yeah, that orange sheen came out very, very nice. Nice clean up there. Let's try. Let's try this turbine. Alright, that turbine's going in. No before shot there, because it already dropped in. <laughs> uh, but it did have some layer on it. Okay. Alright, wow. Look at that now. This is beautiful. So this is a uh, West Indian turbine. And that did clean up very nicely. This crown might be too far gone, but we'll try. Okay, I'll leave him in for a few seconds here. I'm not sure this is going to do much, but we'll check. See if it restores anything. I'm not sure this one's going to really come out any differently, but all right. So. part of the shell did clean up a little bit but the uh, the back this guy was pretty gone to begin with so uh, not too much of a change on that one let's try this uh, let's try this banded tulip um, pretty old let's see if we can get any restore back on it Uh, this one also had a lot of stuff on it, but it, you can see the, uh, the lines on the shell better now, so that did work a little bit. Again, some of these are, um, some of these clean up better than others, uh, but it is definitely working. You can see the pile of shells here that, uh, have cleaned up. Here's another banded tulip. It's got a lot of, um, a lot of that deposit on there, so we're going to see what happens. nice little scallop here. So this is an orange, I'm not sure what type of scallop it is. It's not a base scallop. I did find it in Florida though. Um, maybe a rough scallop, I think. But it does have some stuff on it, so let's try it. articulated cowrie helmet here. Uh, so this guy's got quite a bit of gunk on him. Uh, you can see on the front and back there. Uh, so we'll see how this, this works here. So this will be our last one today. All right. He is pretty gunked up, so I'll leave him on there for a little bit of time. Pretty 
well. Wow. I would say so. Look at that. This one cleaned up extremely well. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Nice way to end. That is beautiful. So as you can see, guys, um, muriatic acid does work pretty well with, uh, with most of your shells here. Um, I'm gonna give you a, a look over here. So these are the ones that we cleaned up today. And I would say overall, uh, most of them came out pretty well. I'm impressed. All right. Okay, guys. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next shelling adventure.